pretty intense beam. I hope you can see it. Try and set it like this, and you guys can see it a little better. Hopefully, wrong way. There we go. There you can see. I think you can see. Um, smoke coming up. See that? There's her. Okay. All right. Sticks ready. Okay, we got some of our, our twigs going. I'll explain a little more about some stuff here. I gotta keep at this, keep some getting some twigs. Uh, just keep on keep on moving until you have a good solid fire going. Don't want to smother it. when you start your fires you start your fires and stuff be uh, be close to a fuel source you know um, you don't want to have to run if you're doing like this you don't want to have to run for 40 50 yards to get your fuel for your fire I mean sometimes you don't have a choice but if you have a choice, you need to get close to it. And start adding a little bigger stuff. You know, it's it's kind of damp, this stuff, because of all the snow and everything. Um, but it, get a little bit bigger stuff on top and let it start getting uh, dried out.
I feel to myself that I have a sustainable fire going right here that uh, you know, I can keep it going. Um, I'd say I, we got a good one going here, so we'll, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, what a, I was back at the house doing some work and stuff, and I, I uh, you know, came to mind, well, I'll go try and do this, and, uh, you know, sharpen my skills and show you guys this, uh, this here. Um, again, this was a, a, uh, it was like a lens in front of a, uh, a headlamp, like a light. The light was back here and it magnified it and that's what shone the light out into the you know your road um, it was out of a I don't know it was 40s 50s old pickup truck that I found out in the woods and it was along an old dirt road it was just somebody had ditched it years ago and uh, I, uh, I pulled that out off of it that's you can I don't know if you can find any of these any of you guys could find them but that's a pretty pretty hefty magnifying glass if you ask me I mean it's probably well it's about that thick so and it fits real nice in my pack um, so I try and protect it with a bag it might be a little big of a bag but I try and keep it protected um, that way it don't get all scratched up or anything. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I don't know exactly how long it took me to get the fire going, but, uh, um, do you know, Jonathan, how long it took? Not really. Okay. Um, but to give you an idea, you know, sun, solar ignition is a good, good source, um, because you don't have, you know, you're not using up your other resources. Um, kind of taking that off of Dave Canterbury, but um, it's true. You're not using uh, your other resources up. Um, this here's another method that I have. It's a fire piston that I made um, out of metal. Um, maybe I'll show uh, if you guys would like. I'll show how how to make this. Um, you know, it just like all other fire pistons, smack it down in there, it ignites your char. And uh, I'm working on some other stuff for on these, um, kind of make them a multi-purpose thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's a little fire piston. But uh, and the uh, this has been a solar ignition video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I guess uh, with that being said, take care, God bless, and um, we'll see you on the next video. Catch you later.